Hi lovelies, so I'm sick in bed and so I'm just going to talk to you guys about stuff. Because some guy is working on my computer, he's reinstalling my whole system. So hopefully Windows Movie Maker will work and my computer will work. And the $1,500 that was spent on it would be well worth it instead of it just sitting there like a ginormous paperweight. Anyways, so um, my mom is not here right now, and if you did not watch my other video, shame on you. Um, but I've had the stomach bug, and if you're wondering why I'm in such high spirits, it's because it's been going on for over 24 hours now. So I've pretty much gone delirious, and I'm used to being sick, so making do. Okay, so funny stories. Okay, so my mom is my primary caregiver. So if anything goes wrong with me, like I go wake her up or I call her on my phone. Like I don't know if any of you guys have seen my phone, but I have like a life proof thing on it. So I take it in the shower with me, which is where I usually end up if I'm really sick because I don't know why. I just get this thing in my head that I need to be in the shower and then I can't get out. But, um... So, <laughs> my mom is really good at dealing with me. She has had many years of practice, but my father, on the other hand, he is wonderful at taking care of me, but he just, like, emotionally doesn't deal with it well. And, um, <laughs> so I don't tend to, like, really tell him if I'm feeling really ill. I just kind of say I'm okay. But in this instance, I literally, like, had to tell him because I could barely move. So I went out and I told my dad finally after, like, 12 hours of dealing with this. And, um, my dad, oh, my gosh. Oh, bless his heart. He co I said, Dad, come in, like, my whole room, bathroom, it's just a complete mess, I'm a mess, I don't even remember what I said to him, and then I got into bed and was just like moaning, and um, so he goes into my bathroom, and I he then I hear him, I'm like in and out of it, and then I hear him with tools, <laughs> like, what on earth is he doing in there, and um, he put in a new toilet seat, like the whole seat top part. It's new, brand new. And I walked into my bathroom. I'll just show you guys. Let's just take a little, a little field trip over here. I walk into my bathroom, which normally has, sorry, I'm talking to my hair. Um, normally has stuff everywhere, like. I have lots of products, as if you've watched my thing. It looks like uh, no carpets or anything. Everything's being cleaned. It looks like a hospital <laughs> bathroom. <laughs> That's what my dad does when I'm feeling sick. He cleans and cleans and cleans and cleans. He cleaned my bathtub. Um, so he's a sweetheart, but just really funny how he is. And then every once in a while, he's just like, you okay? I'm like, yeah, I guess so. I'm okay. Oh. Only my father would, I tell him, I'm really sick right now, Dad. I need your help. And he goes and puts a new toilet seat on my toilet. <laughs> I didn't need one, mind you. It didn't need one. He just put it on there. My dad's really into fixing toilets also. Um, and uh, what's the other funny story? Oh, I just wanted to update you guys that um, I wrote a very long letter to Wantables because I was very excited to get the accessories box. And it was actually something that I really like was getting for one time and I wanted to get it as a subscription box because I really don't have a lot of accessories and I really think they're fun and I kind of wanted to treat myself here and there and um 
So I was very disappointed with the damage and then the complete mistake. And so I wrote them a long letter because I didn't, I know that people probably get really fussy and are like, I don't like this and I don't like that. And like, that's a subscription box. There's going to be some things you like, some things you don't. That's just the way it is because other people are picking it for you. You're not shopping. That's the price you kind of have to pay. But since the items were damaged, it just kind of was like, oh man, this is like a real bummer. So I contacted them and wrote them a really long letter, just kind of letting them know that it wasn't just complaining to complain that like, actually like I didn't get one of my items and something was gold and that gold thing was damaged so I can't even like give that away and the other item, the other earrings were damaged and they wrote back uh, within 24 hours I think and said, um, that they would send me two replacement items and that I didn't need to send, well, I don't know why they'd want them back, but um, they did, that I didn't need to send them back and they said that they hoped that I could re-gift them, which I can't, I mean, I could if someone doesn't really mind that that spot's on there. Like, I really wouldn't if my hair was down and it was a free gift that someone was giving me, but... So I just wanted to update you guys on that, that they have amazing customer service. So if you do have some kind of issue with them, or if you don't like something, or if something's damaged or switched, that they are really good. I mean, it was a personal letter. It wasn't just like a, hi, we are wantables. You can return these things. Like, they really, like, actually answered my message, and it was really cool. So, um... Yeah, I feel like accessories, like my best friend, she is obsessed with sex accessories. Like, she has like this whole thing that she like brings when she travels. I'll have to show it to you guys sometime. And um, she has so many cool things and like, I think she would really, really like it. So, um, yep, I'm starting to feel ill again. So, ah, oh, this is just never ending. It's never ending, but it will. It is gonna end. Well, this is my life now. That's not even funny. Okay, I love you guys, and I hope you guys have my pain-free stress every day, and as always, I will talk to you tomorrow. This is just one of the beauties of having a vlog every day. So, if you want to get into the glamorous world of vlogging, this is where it's at, right here, on this channel. I bet all of you guys are going to start channels now. Yeah. Trust in God on this one. I don't know why I do this. Okay, bye-bye.